But you want to, my understanding is you want to make a request to go into closed session? Could you? I, mean, I, I think we should. We didn't get any answers in a public setting to what I asked, even though they're not classified. But we also, I have classified questions. I know we typically don't do that with nominees, but Ms. Hanselman is a current U.S. government employee with a security clearance, and she's worked in this field in the past. I think there are issues that we should explore about her role in Obama administration decisions. Well, and listen, I'm going to try to honor the Senator's request, and obviously I'd say we um, – I, we could see if we could make her available different time, although I think she's, uh, we may be back into that uh, close time and her change in status. Um, I'm not sure. Well, I mean, if no one, I mean, if no one else was prepared to have one and we're not prepared to have one, we can, we can look at it another time. Well, I, I'm, I'm just concerned that, that um, I think she's about to go on maternity leave. I, I want to try to make, uh, accommodate you. I'm not sure whether her, answers about what she was doing as a legal, and, and I didn't hear all your line of questions, so I apologize, but if there are going to be questions about her uh, when she was acting as a legal counselor in the current administration or in the past administration, well, you know, so that, like that, most lawyers, they may simply yeah. say, I'm not going to weigh in on that, but if, but if it would feel better to have those questions asked, and if there's going to be a different response in a closed setting. Uh, well, that's, that's half of it, but the other half is, as Susan Collins talked about her experience working on the Edward Snowden matter, she mm -hmm. was at the White House. There's a lot of other stuff going on then as well. There was the presidential policy guidance on counterterrorism. There was the presidential policy directive on signals intelligence. There was Syria. There was the Iran nuclear deal. Again, I know that normally we don't get to explore these questions with nominees because they're not active U.S. government employees with security clearances, but they are here. Again, we don't have to go have a formal hearing right now, but I would like a chance to explore them with her at some point. So we, I'm, I'm fine not going into a closed setting right now. All right. But in Is, is, there, is there a way, uh, and, and asking staff, is there a way that you could a ask those questions for the record in a classified manner, or you want to have a back and forth? We can, we can, look, I think we can probably start there. Let's okay. start there. I want to try to accommodate yeah, you, Adam, but I also recognize no, I'm not just, sure that some of her answers may be that much different, but yeah. I mean, I do want to make sure. And all, all of our peers have already gone off to an early lunch, so. Well, Senator King and I are still here. I you have to be here. I didn't know. Senator King's only here because, like me, he always waits till the end. But um, no, why don't we? Why don't we try to start there and we'll see if that works? All right. Well, um, I, I also want to make sure that um, you don't uh, raise objections if tomorrow she delivers a baby and say one more of these Biden administrations trying to avoid my questions uh, that way. So we'll, we'll try. I, I, I wish you uh, the very best, and especially. Big brother and sister are going to have to deal with another one coming along at the very best as well. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate it, Senator Cotton, but I, I do want the witness to recognize that there will be additional questions, and if, and again, how you answer them is up to you, but I, want to, I do want to try to make sure you, you get accommodated. Well, I uh, appreciate um, your presence. I appreciate your family uh, all being here. appreciate your willingness to serve. I look forward to trying to um, move this nomination as... as as quickly as possible. Um, I think it's really important that we, um, the agency gets a general counsel. I think there's a, a critically important role. And I think as, you know, candidly, I think both Senator Cotton's right and some of the members on this side, that this job is so important that not only do you got to point out illegal activities, but I think the, the points raised by Senator Cotton, that if, you know, any administration says, hey, you know, we don't want you to do this, but it's perfectly legal. Maybe they'll make a policy decision on that, but it shouldn't be based on uh, legal opinion. So we, we think, uh, I think, truthfully, you have the, um, the experience, the expertise, and the knowledge to make those kind of judgments. It, it is a critically important role. And again, um, appreciate your presence here, and uh, good luck in the coming hours, days, and Mr. weeks. Mr. Chairman, and, uh, I'd like to note the role of Yale Law School in this hearing. The, the, the nominee is a graduate. I'm sure she would say that Yale had a lot to do with her getting where she is, as it did with me. Uh, when Yale Law School rejected my application, I dedicated my life to making them regret the decision, and hence my position on this side of the dais. Thank you. I, I, I'm not sure I've shared this with the committee, um, but I also ended up uh, at that law school in Cambridge because the one in New Haven rejected me as well. So. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure I'm going to go there, but I do want to make sure, at least for staff, that um, 
uh, any, if any members of the committee wish to submit questions for the record after today's hearing, please do so by 5 p.m. on Friday, April 8th. And with that, uh, good luck going forward, and uh, best of luck to your family and all. I, I, they all should be very, very proud of you. Hearings adjourned. Thank you.